The Belmont community mourning tonight after a stray bullet killed an 18 year old freshman. Good evening everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. A family and friends remember Jillian Ludwig as a talented musician, loyal friend and bright personality who lit up a room. Her life was taken by a man who opened fire on a passing car. Tonight, our Nikki Hauser went back to the public park where this happened, where those closest to Jillian gathered to share their grief. Gray clouds hang over Edge Hill Memorial Community Gardens. A somber tone as the day comes to an end. This has always been a park where families come where dogs roam. <laughs> now it's a place where friends mourn. Thursday night, this is where you found the people closest to Jillian Ludwig, a happy, talented 18-year-old Belmont student who was killed by a stray bullet two days ago. And her life just basically started. Steps from campus at the place where she was lost is where they cried, prayed, and clung to the memory of someone who deserved much more. They must be heartbroken. It broke me, like I kind of, I got in my depressed mood. 15-year-old Kendra Pruitt heard the gunshots that day. Because like somebody, like, I never knew somebody out here would kill just the innocent person. Living across the street, she walks through this park often. Now, she thinks of Jillian, only three years older than her. I've lost a family member to a bullet, and I know how that feels. So I'm grieving for them. The group leaves the park behind. The grief they take with them. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5. Thank you, Nikki. Jillian was from a small town near the Jersey Shore, where she attended the church in Brielle. That congregation has held several vigils since this shooting took place, and those who knew her say she was involved in the community from an early age, helping to raise money for good causes. Uh, the community is reeling. I've known Jillian f since she was seven, and she participated in choir, and she was one of my students, and she always gave back to the community. She and her family were very involved, so this is very difficult because this is one of our own and uh, she was a remarkable young lady. Sadly, this is not the first case of an innocent bystander being tragically gunned down in our area. On June 8th of 2021, Shirley Crawley was just stopped at a red light on her way to the store. Two gunmen started shooting in another car when a bullet hit and killed her. They got away. Her cousin Shirley Page says that news of Jillian's death reminds her of what happened to her family. When I hear the news and hear those stories, my heart just immediately goes go back to that day, June 8th. And then I repeat it all over again. Another person has lost, lost a life and nothing has changed. And it's like, how long are we gonna continue to keep going through this cycle? Because for families like my family, we've never gotten over it. Police are still asking anyone with information about Shirley Crawley's case to call Crime Stoppers.